Okay, testing. Damn, I can't believe I talked for like... <laughs> Just ignored you guys for three solid minutes. Well, I kind of deserve it. So, you know, I would say I'm sorry, but I'm, I guess I'm just not. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I forget what I said. I forget you missed. I forget what you missed. It was, it was probably really interesting, whatever it was. I'm just uh, cutting grass just as a way to like ch channel aggression. I can never, I can never seem to start a stream with all the sound working at once. Like it's either the game is muted or I'm muted. It never all comes together. Uh, it's unfortunate. Guess I'll deposit these eggplants. Oh, I remember what I was saying. I was saying that eggplants are not the most sapphic vegetable that I could have chosen in retrospect, but I will take that into consideration next time. Okay, we are... Should I go fishing? <laughs> no. Tweet tweet. Get out of here, birds. I have a, I have an, I have a feeling of antipathy towards the little blue birds that I can't quite explain. Pierre, where are you? Thanks, Gabriel. Your crush is straight and doesn't like you back, so you want to crawl in a hole and die. But is it? Yeah, I know the feeling. Should probably, uh, probably just do that. <laughs> Maybe you should transition. That's what I should do. I should detransition. Detransition for Haley. Hashtag detransition for Haley. All right, what's going on, Alex? Alex, I'm trying to ascertain that we have, we've placed, we've placed a big question mark over Alex. Is Alex, is Alex a true straight? Is he a super straight? Uh, thanks, Rachel. Would I go, so what is the nature of this show to find Katya love? Is it like serious or is it a joke? Because if it's a joke, I feel like I, would, I could go on it. If it's serious, I feel like it wouldn't... You know what? Oh! Scratch that. Hashtag detransition for Katya. Guys, I will, I'm going to gonna detransition and then I'm going to gay marry Katya Zamolochka. <laughs> the way God intended. Don't you think that's a good plan? Thanks, Martine. Thanks, Miguel. 
I'm doing amazing. Um, what am I doing in this trailer park? Okay, well, I'm getting married now. I have a plan, I have a plan for life. That's sorted out. Should I go plant these new crops that I have? I've got to find Kate. We've got to find Haley. What am I doing with this coal? What am I, dark side Santa Claus? Stop it. It's weird behavior. That's Jody. Okay. I don't care about you. <laughs> How funky is your chicken? Emily. Okay, I'll try to do that. Emily, do I have anything that you'd want? Not really. Okay, I'm not going to give you insulting gifts. I feel like we've learned that lesson by now. I do love their couches. I don't know. I love a red couch. I like the wind chimes, this is very relaxing ambient. Thanks, not Meg. <laughs> Thank you. I love it for me too. What am I doing? Is this a is it they have they have a sunflower and bok choy outside their house. Who likes bok choy? Who's a bok choy lady? Of the house. Gotta learn these things. I feel like it actually decreases my confidence, or does it increase my confidence in the pharmacy that they have mushrooms growing outside? Thanks, worst. Would I ever collab with Hassan? Of course. I should. I need to respond. <laughs> I think I ignored him like a month ago because I was like not. I was like brain damaged post video being out and I was like, no, I can't go on stream right now. I can't face it. Um, yeah, Carolyn, she probably does. I don't know. I just don't really get a good vibe from Abigail. I've never, I never have. I just, I don't know. I know you, maybe, maybe it's the video game. It's maybe Carolyn's onto it. God, these bloopers are triggering. Stop it. Oh, uh, hey, how are you? I'm just going to look over here. I'm not pressed. Nothing's concerning me. I'm fine. Are you going to make a comment about how I smell like dirt or whatever? No, you're just going to complain. Oh. Okay. Wow. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> they really give you the option to be a terrible asshole. Relax. Yeah. Yeah, Haley, I've got so many good ideas. You're like, you, you don't even know the beginning of my good ideas. For example, what do you think about this? Okay, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> What's that mushroom? Ooh. Hazelnuts. Plums. Did I get on this bus? No. My foraging has not really been very successful. Thanks, Danosaurus. That's very helpful. Yeah, they won't take me. But see the lights in this room going on and off. I hate it. I think there's a poltergeist in this house, honestly. And then my monitor goes on and off. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> God, 
God, I'm heavy. We're all trying to keep it together. I love that for you, though. Good sound. Wait, is my... Tr okay, my watering can. Is my watering can ready? It's a question we all need to be asking yourself. Where could my pipe be? Is my watering can ready? What are these people doing? Jojo Mart. It's closed. What do you mean it's closed? He's closed on Saturday? I hate that. Nar. Nar. It's closed. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll go to the mines. Thanks, Casey. Has my stance on cancel culture changed? Not really. People think it exi doesn't exist because people never get canceled. Well, I feel like cancel culture is kind of a dumb term, but it's not, but it's actually like, I mean, if anything, like in terms of the kinds of social media behaviors that we describe as cancel culture, I think my opinion of those, if anything, has gotten lower since I made those videos. If I made that video today, it would be more harsh. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. My Venus and Mars placement? I actually don't know. I have to, like, look it up. All I know is sun, moon, and rising. Or ascendant, or whatever you call it. I'm just gonna take a bath, just cause. This locker room is gross as shit. I hate the cracks everywhere. I feel like it smells like piss. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here. This is where I belong now. I'm like one of those monkeys. You know the monkeys that, like those like, they have them in Japan, like snow monkeys with the white fur and they like sit in hot springs. That's what I always feel like every time I'm in a hot tub. I said in a hot tub, I feel like one of those arctic snow monkeys. Sitting contem contemplatively. Thank you, Louis. Good morning, France. <laughs> That's a good butter sound, don't you think? Yeah, I love being a contented... I love being a contented snow monkey. My favorite thing. It's kind of like being... Was that I? You know the Ikea monkey? You guys know the Ikea monkey. Was that an arctic snow... It looked like one of those snow monkeys. It was little. Yeah, it had definitely has staff. No, there's like, there is MRSA in these tile cracks. I guarantee it. <laughs> I 
Okay, great. Oh, wait, you guys need to teach me this shortcut because everyone's constantly yelling at me about how I take the long way. I don't know how serious that is, like, if, if this if there's a really significant shortcut, like, m mines to harm. But on the other hand, like, people people get so upset when I, pl when I farm with less than maximum efficiency. It's honestly kind of, it's like a psychiatric problem. Like, you guys honestly need therapy to deal with, like, how neurotic you get about farming efficiency. It's not normal. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. Sorry that your life is bad. Join the club. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Black. That's what I needed to hear today. Thanks, Em. Do you have any tips on how to be cool? I don't know. I feel like coolness is... Coolness is an attitude of, like, not... It's generally an attitude of apathy. Which, actually, sort of paradoxically, is not as cool now as it used to be. Apathy is kind of out of style, but coolness will always be related to apathy. Thanks, Jacob. I mean, there's a reason, like, when you think of drugs, like, <laughs> not to bring it back to drugs, but, like, last time we streamed in the chat was posting meth in chat. Like, meth is not a cool drug, in my opinion, because it doesn't, it makes you, it doesn't make you apathetic. Cool. <laughs> All right, it's time to see the blacksmith. Clint, Clint, you big burly hunk. Give him my goddamn copper watering can. Get out of here, birds. We don't tolerate your, t your kind around here. Okay, 9 a.m. Guess we'll just wait for 9 a.m. Thanks, Hagoda. My favorite season is still spring. In my opinion, spring had the best music, and it's kind of been all down here since then. All downhill since then. Hey, Clint. Yes. Yes. Guys, I'm unstoppable now. Okay, that's not how you... <laughs> uh, thanks, Jacob. My favorite color... I feel like color is a very context-dependent thing. There's not really any color that's like the best color, uh, you know, like, it, it colors all about, it's, 
it's all like the best color is the color that fits the situation you know what i mean it's the color that fits in the color story that you've created it's the one that like context creates the best color there's no objectively best color any more than there's like a best note on the piano you know what i mean like the best note is the one that sounds good in the context of a, of a bigger musical idea that's how i feel about color I don't know, I guess some people have like monochromatic fixations and they get really into one color just for the pure experience of that color itself. I guess I'm not like that. Oh, it's my favorite. I do like green. I like green, I like red. As far as colors that I just tend to like use that as the base and start going off of. I would say... I Green, red, and black are, are some faves. Although green, red, and black they might don't really go that great together. I mean, they could. You can make it happen. Okay. Let's turn to test this. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's... Look at that. That's what, that's what this is all for. Guys, our hard work has finally paid off. Thanks, Brad. Uh, I don't really publish written work, unfortunately, except like on Twitter, but I've quit that again. <laughs> Thanks, Get Frost. Have I tried the new Hershey's Yingling? No, I, I haven't. What is that? Thanks, Kevin. Greetings back to Peru. Uh, well, thank you. I'm glad. Thanks, Jacob. Sorry, I feel like I'm being like, I'm being really apathetic tonight. Speaking of apathy, I'm just feeling like apathetic, you know? This is marginally more efficient, I gotta say. What do you think, guys? Was this worth it? I feel like I need to get better at using it, and that would help. Adds another good sound into the mix. How do you get a sprinkler? Those wind chimes. Wind chimes are really working for me. Is that a weed? In front of my salad? Should I not be watering the weeds? Oh, right, I got all these seeds that I totally didn't plant. Okay, great.
that sound. Really, I'm finding people to sleep with this one, huh? Okay. Crops are watered. Oh, that sound. What can I craft? Can I sell some plums? Should I sell mushrooms? I guess. Thanks, Jacob. Do I prefer Trixie or Kachi's humor? Uh, I mean, I like them both. Obviously, they're great together. And there's, I mean, humor, it's kind of like color, right? Like, they pair really well, obviously. I feel a kind of existential connection to Katya, I, I admit, because of a lot of things that we have in common. But I like them both. Uh, worst, have I considered getting a P.O. box? Oh, they have biohazard detection, huh? Um, I have considered it, but I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. But I've just had a lot of bad experiences with the internet. And it kind of makes that kind of thing not fun for me. I'm sorry to say. As a Marylander, how do I feel about crabs? Oh, they're good. They're fine. Kind of hard to eat. I guess I can make a joke about crabs here, but I'm not that much of a hack. Wow, I found my cat sleeping in the grass. Good thing he didn't get scythed when she. Well, I just misgendered my own cat. Why do we do these things? Oh. I do feel like I need to keep the grass away. Away from my farmland. Also that this way I can like level up or whatever. And some people in chatter can be like, no, don't cut the grass. You need to farm with maximum efficiency. This is not efficient. Should I cut a tree down? I feel like these are getting a little too close. My energy is low. I'm also going to sleep soon. Fuck. Wait, what? If that's my cat, then what's this cat? Am I going insane? Yes, I am. Okay, it's fine. A good night, meow. Another rooster. Can I kill that rooster? It's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. Okay. You need a basket, I guess. I'm going to get a basket.
Ugh, gotta do all the watering again. Ugh. No, god damn it. Okay, I need to get the hang of this thing. I'm not good at it. Chris, hi, how are you? No, I'm, I'm really bad at the copper watering can, like... I'll, I'll get better, I just need to practice. Can you eat roosters? Wait, are the chickens you eat half chickens and half roosters, or are they all chickens? What is the deal with chicken? What is the deal with chicken? Like, can someone explain chickens and gender to me? Because I don't think I'm quite got it. A rooster is a male chicken, and a chicken is a female rooster, right? But you only eat the females, but the roosters make all the noise. But why are there so many chickens? And you, like, what are all the roosters doing? If we're eating all the chickens, what are we doing with the roosters? Thanks, Eskil. Uh, thank you. You're very welcome. Are you sleepy? I like to his water. Is this a weed? Am I watering weeds still? Thanks, Natalie. Am I okay? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Is anyone okay? Thanks, Ned. Ever played Detroit Became hu Become Human? No, I haven't. What is that? I'll consider playing anything. Okay, everything's watered. It's only 11.30. Let's go. Let's get stuff done. I don't know what we're getting done, though. Oh, we gotta go to the spa. I've, like, exhausted my energy. Is this the shortcut? Can someone explain to me what the shortcut is? Is the minecart the shortcut? It's out of order, guys. I don't understand what the shortcut is. Everyone's always yelling at me about the fucking shortcut. Oh, blackberries. The shortcut's top of my farm. Okay. Go left to find a basket. Thanks, Ned. You have big money to see me play Detroit. 
Okay, I, I will. I'll watch the trailer. Wait, is this a shortcut? That's like... I need to like chop my way through it. Oh, is that my mushroom cave? Let's see how this is going. Oh shit. Got so many mushrooms. I got a red one and I got a moral. That is. Thanks for splinting. No kegs for wine. Blackberries. Hey, OVXX. Good morning, Asia. Good morning, Europe. Good morning, everywhere. Not the Western Hemisphere. Um, okay. So this is not the mine. Can I look at the map? Okay, got it. No, I shouldn't be here. Okay. Oh wait, where's the um, where's the spa? Isn't okay. That's like right next to us, isn't it? Because I should go to the spa, because I should fix my energy. There's a greenhouse. Oh yeah, no, it's a spa. Okay. I'm getting good at this. Thanks, Ned. Yeah, I missed the super liminal ones too. Those were fun. Thanks, Worst. Juminos in the community center. Mine cards are functional. Okay, so I gotta finish a boy the room. Alright, I'll I'll take a look. Thanks, Paige. <laughs> We'd farm for 20. Yeah. Well, this is, I mean we're we're in the most relaxing I don't know, what's more relaxing, watering or just being in the spa? I feel like watering is actually more relaxing. Thanks, Puma. I haven't written music in like 13 years. I don't know if I ever will. I prefer playing music by geniuses. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Can I order shrimp? Wow, we could, we're still we're still fixated on the shrimp, are we? <laughs> I guess I did. I did kind of like. I did kind of shrimp tease you, didn't I? Or maybe I will. Should I, uh, should I order shrimp? <sighs> maybe I should, maybe I should order shrimp. What's Linus? I don't have a basket for him yet. Okay. Let's check my creepy love notebook. God. I'm up to three with Haley. And with Emily. I'm killing it. I'm slaying this challenge.
Demetrius, what are you up to? Some kind of scientific endeavor? Oh, you divert your attentions to fungi, huh? Do I have anything that you would want? I guess I could... I don't want to be... Well, I don't know. Should I be wasting fun... I'll give him a thing just to see if he likes it. You're welcome. Thanks, 24. I have not played Hades. No. Oh, wait. No, I should go up the elevator. Down the elevator. Stop it. Stop it. God, that's annoying. Thanks, Eric. I actually, in general, am more of a settee person than a WC person, but I also like settee. I've been, um, I'm sorry, I also like WC. I've been learning the reverie, so that's the WC that I'm working on. Thanks, Babity. Yeah, WC, a name that was a maid. It was made for the 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> Why does a crab have a cherry bomb? Stop it. What? Fuck. The stupid diglet. What is the diglet doing? Thanks, Harvey. Harvey. Would I be interested in going on Sardonicast? I shouldn't even know what that is, but sure. <laughs> Thanks, Cherry. Every single poem you've noted, you've written had a female muse, and it's come to your attention that poems might, your the poems might be gay. Actually, oops, yeah, they might be possibility worth exploring. Thanks, trash. Oh, the guild sells a better sword now. Yeah, I should get one because it's ridiculous. The diglet till took a long time to kill, and also my, I'm about to die. I'm like literally, I'm bleeding out. Look at this. Better eat some blackberries. Crunch. Okay, that's not that helpful. Can I make a trail snack or whatever it is? Eh, eh, no. Uh, you're welcome, Aaron. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Uh, the bug genocide. Yeah, well, someone has to support it. I'm feeling... I'm fine. I feel like I'm kind of depression streaming, actually. I don't know. Should I not be depression streaming? I guess not. I just don't know what else to do. Oh my god, you guys are like... Tell me to eat shrimp. I really need this better sword. This is ridiculous. Thanks, Kastros Kastroski. Oh, Dorian answered you on a live stream and said they'd love to do a collab as well. Yes. Well, we should do that. I feel like we've discussed it, like, in past DM situations. I should stop tweeting so that people will collab with me. Okay, I'll order shrimp. 
Because a child loves to, con loves, to loves to determine what goes into and out of my body. No, no. I can't order shrimp with those bugs. Oh, I'm about to die. I mean, I'm about to fall asleep in this cave and get eaten by diglets and... Stop it. Okay, got out of the mine at least. That's important. Okay. This is The important part is actually getting to the shortcut. Let's see if I can manage the shortcut. Why is Twitter so mean to me for no reason? Well, they've been like this since the month that I came out as trans. So I guess I have no idea why. It's a complete mystery. And I am out. Passed out in front of my own house. Okay, ordering shrimp to appease you people. Thanks, Nad. Alright, 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 thank you. I will, I'll watch the Detroit trailer later. What if I just stay in bed till noon today? I feel like that's what this kind of day is. Um, what am I doing? Ordering shrimp. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's yet another reason I should detransition. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even mind that Twitter is abusive. The problem with it is that, like, with, with Twitter, it's like, if you're... If you have a platform, everyone is allowed to be as abusive as they want to you endlessly forever with no criticism. And in response, you have to be a perfect angel to everyone or else you're the abuser. It leads to a lot of like pent up aggression. <laughs> you know, like everyone you know who's an influencer is actually secretly dying inside. And thanks, Henry. Yeah, it's very stupid. <laughs> Thanks, Kit. You're super welcome. I love what close friends we are. <laughs> okay, shrimp. Um, where did I get the shrimp from last time? Mm, I want fried shrimp. Hmm. Okay, this place is good. Just she. A okay, shrimp basket platter. That's what we tried to get last time. Okay, one second. Priority. Okay, I just placed an order for shrimp. So, you know, didn't build till 9.50. I deserve it. Uh. Amaranth. I don't even remember planting amaranth. Golden Corral. Yeah, that is a very, like, fried shrimp kind of place, isn't it? I haven't been to a Golden Corral since, like, I don't even know how long it's been. Pretty long. Okay.
Is there any reason for me to be hanging onto slime? I should also get the backpack upgrade, I know. I do like candles. The, the the two the two candles that I get the most are the ones that I get on Etsy. They're really nice. The one hand makes them. I like um, vanilla and rose. Those are the candles that I usually get. Okay. Oh, Dr. Harvey found me. Wow, Dr. Harvey's even more extensive than the fucking Joja Mart. Or the mayor. Stardew Valley Fair, okay. One week from today. A Grange display. Nine items that showcase your talents. Okay, I, I can do that. Quality and diversity. Okay, got it. 9 a.m. on next Tuesday. Okay. I feel like it's pretty presumptuous of the doctor to, like, be resuscitating me on my own farm. You know, I need an advanced directive. I'm actually pretty excited for these shrimp, I'm going to be honest. Even though I was bullied into it, I'm still excited. <laughs> yeah, it is like US healthcare, absolutely. Okay. Time to do this with the least efficiency imaginable. I should make a lot of money when this local gets harvested, right? Oops. No. the weed. Thanks, Smitty. Yeah, I'm just taking a break from Twitter. I wasn't even going to do that, but I was intervened upon. I've, I've been forced to take a break. I hate, an, I hate an intervention. Everyone hates an intervention. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta put up with it. It's kind of a dark reminder that my expiration date is approaching though. Like I'm already considered too old to talk about gay shit. I'm gonna have to find something else to talk about soon. Thanks, Hensu. I should play Animal Crossing with Hassan. I should, yeah. Good, yeah. I 
I do need to get a sprinkler. No, I'll never be too old to talk about gaming. Gaming is forever. The thing I think, I mean, the funniest thing about young people is that they don't realize how fast they're going to be old. <laughs> like, you're about a thousand blinks away from being an irrelevant geezer. These young Gen Z people who think that they're on the cutting edge. You're like so close to being old, you'd have no idea how close to being old you are. <laughs> and then all your identity labels that you've worked so hard to explain to yourself and everyone around you, they will be considered weird boomer shit <laughs> that no one, <laughs> that young people think is embarrassing. And you'll be like, but I'm a gray ace, demisexual, pansexual, blah, blah, blah. And they'll be like, okay, boomer, whatever. <laughs> because the, the, the next generation, who knows what they'll do. Probably they'll think that all labels are cringe. They'll go back to that Gen X shit, you know? Grandpa Simpson, it'll happen to you meme. <laughs> Thanks, Ned. I know. I feel like I, I feel like that like this and Animal Crossing though, it's like a lot of like digital Xanax. You know what I'm saying? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Demetrius, what are you doing? It's 7.30 p.m. Why are you doing science? Oh my god. Stop. No more science, Demetrius. No more. It's too, it's, it's too late at night for science. Now is not science time. You need to take a break. Or you're going to go crazy. I still have a basket. It is kind of bad that I'm like taking all of Linus's Blackberry. <laughs> well, I'm just... Oh, do I have more mushrooms? I do. Thanks, Natalie. No comment. Except a little. <laughs> mm. 
My altars are also ageless. That rooster is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. No! Okay. okay, I'm glad you can't accidentally scythe your crop. Your crop. How did I feel about the Swan Girls finale? Wait, what's Swan Girls? Sounds like something I would like. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to make moonshine. Wait, no, I should be taking. I should be keeping my gold star shit for the for the festival or whatever. Girls that are swans. Well, yeah, I am a girl. That's me. I think I'm trapped because I'm, I'm Odette. Oh yeah. Wait, what's going on with my food? My order's almost there. That was so fast. Oh, that the swan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swan girls. Yeah, I see what you mean. You mean yeah. Um. I have I haven't finished it. I need to finish it. I was watching Luxuria was my was like I was binging binging all of her videos when I was supposed to be <laughs> when I was supposed to be editing Envy. That was like what I was watching every night. But I've fallen behind since I stopped working on that video. Well, I'm gonna I'm starting um I'm gonna start. I mean, I've already kind of started work on my next video, so I'll probably be back to binging YouTube soon. Because that's what I do when I'm working on a, on a video. As I shut my life down, and I do nothing but work by myself, and... I'm just fucking... Watch YouTube videos. Okay. Should I go get my shrimp? I probably should. Luxuria. I love Luxuria. Eh. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Heart. Uh, yeah, if there's, um, if there's any queer guys in their 20s watching, uh, yeah, message Heart. <laughs> Being single sucks. Yes, it does. I've never been single so long as I have been these last few years. And it does indeed suck. I don't know. Being in a relationship can also suck if your relationship sucks. But I usually don't think of that because I'm so single that that I don't don't think about it. Okay, my shrimp are here. I should stop watering and start shrimping. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my shrimp. I'll be right fucking back. <laughs>
Good news, kids. I actually got the shrimp this time. And, and, my hat, and jalapeno bubbles. I got both shrimp. And shrimp and poppers. And they also gave me cocktail sauce. Freaking, freaking amazing. These look like wings. No, they're not. They're, they're poppers. What is the definition of a popper? No one seems to know. It seems to mean a fried thing. Okay. And look at this. I got fancy. Um, got like cocktail toothpicks so that I can, I can eat my shrimp without getting my hands all dirty. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for the crunch? I'm about to crunch. Um. Good. <laughs> it's a very satisfying crunch. Okay, back to watering. Watering and crunching. What a stream. Shrimp crunch. Plant watering. All the good things in life, you know? What? Look at this giant shroom. Guys, am I on the acid? Like, what is this? Am I in Emily's dream again? What is this giant shroom? Everything's watered. It's time to crunch. Yeah, I'm not I'm not cutting down the mushroom trees. Those are here to stay. I need to tap the shroom. I missed one what? Guys, you're so so neurotic. <laughs> Did I miss this one? Yeah. I missed two, because I also missed that. Well, I'm gonna tap the mushroom. It's not doing anything. Yeah. I already pet you. Thanks, Jackson. Favorite and least favorite city I've lived in. Hmm. Least favorite is Chicago. 
uh, which I feel bad at saying because it's like, it is a nice city, but it's also, it's too cold. It's just, it's just too cold. I'm sorry, I can't do it. It makes the city miserable. And like, you can't have fun in the city for eight months of the year because it's too fucking cold. Um, like, what were people thinking of building a city there? Madness. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. What makes a perfect steak? Like, nicely kind of crisped on the outside, but like bloody on the inside, in my opinion. <laughs> Thanks, Pumpkinhead. Oh, I never said... Thank you. Oh, what did, um... I never said what my favorite city was. Well, it might be Baltimore because I keep staying here. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm about to fall asleep. Thanks, Harmonic. Please check out the gay cartoons she raw in Owl House and say hi to the gay shit post subreddit r 196 also, Twitter break is good. Maru, I never see you. What do you? What is Maru like? Do you think she likes? I guess I could check my creepy love notebook. I'm gonna take a chance and see if she likes blackberries. No. Oh, okay, that did not work. <laughs> I guess I guess we've learned a valuable lesson about always. Always confront the creepy notebook. Guys, that's the first piece of dating advice that I can give. Always consult the creepy notebook. Oh my god, Demetrius, you're everywhere. You're doing science all, all, all over the place. Yeah, I've got such interesting farms. Such interesting plants. Crunch? Right, so, thanks, right. Uh, you apologize if I've been asked this a million times. Would I ever have another discussion slash debate with Vanessa? Curious to know. No. Why would I do that? <laughs> At this point, like... Why, would I, why am I going to make someone famous? Who doesn't serve it? Thanks to Goda or Hagoda, sorry, I don't know. Fuck. Okay, I need to go to the spa. I'm, I'm fucked. Who's my favorite? F J pronounced like Y. Okay, so Yagoda. Thank you. Um, my favorite philosopher. Uh, jeez. I kind of wish philosophers were just not. Um, just all of them. We're just I wish they wouldn't. Uh, if I have a favorite, uh, I used to say Wittgenstein, but now even I'm kind of irritated with him. Is there any philosopher I'm not irritated by? <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Farming and shrimp. You're feeling amped. I don't know that anyone yet needs to be kicked out, but we'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll let, I'll let you know, Mary. Thanks, Reina. Would I join your MLM for boss babes only? Yeah, absolutely. What are we? What are we? What are we pushing? Fuck. I got too slow. Because I fucked up. Oh yeah, I'm actually reading the Tao Te Ching. I'm actually trying to read like more Chinese philosophy because they don't teach it. They don't teach it in like Western or American anyway, um, like university philosophy departments. But it's actually kind of like more interesting to me as an adult. So yeah, I actually just got two beautiful editions 
of the Tao Te Ching, and I'm gonna read those. Philosophy. I'm so tired. Look how tired I am. This is pretty sad. Yeah, I read some Douglas Hofstadter. I also, I've also, um, I've gone to one of his talks. A meow. Yes. Let's see. Wait, hold on. It's starting to crunch. Wait, let me try a jalapeno popper. They're they're kind of shaped like wings. It's it's like a whole jalapeno pepper. Is that what it is? Oh, these have marinara sauce for them. Okay, hold on. Let me dip a let me dip a popper and marinara sauce. Okay, the toothpicks are not good. I kind of need to use my hands. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. That's fine. Um. Oh, it's like a jalapeno and cheese. So it's um, it's basically like a mozzarella stick with a jalapeno in it. It's good. Thanks, Taranig. Uh, the stuffed animals in my cringe video. Yeah, I got them. I got all of them. I got like bulk plushies for that video and I still have them. Sorry, I'm aggressively crunching. Okay. Thanks, Henry. How to read instead of constantly scrolling? Put on some white noise, like rain sounds. And, um, a raven. Drink a bunch of coffee and then just sit there and that helps, I find. Turn off your phone. Like, don't have your phone nearby. Be distracting. Thanks, um, do I like the Japanese house? I don't know. What is a Japanese house? It sounds like a thing I would like, but I don't know what that is. Uh, thanks, Modus. Huge business opportunity, an MLM for tanky MLM iconography. Wow, that's... Yeah, someone should do that, honestly. Since apparently tankies will believe anything. Should, they would be an ideal target for multi-level marketing. <laughs> Just have to convince them that Mao put them up to it or whatever. It's, uh... It's not a pyramid scheme. It's multi-level marketing with Chinese characteristics. <laughs> I actually don't know anything about Japanese philosophy. I feel like no one talks about Japanese philosophy. Like Chinese philosophy is very little known, but not Japanese philosophy. What's the deal with that? Does Japan just need to get their philosophy game together? Or are they just unfairly ignored? I don't know. Wow, I just watered my path. That's very helpful. Okay, 
Okay, I'm about to like pass out from lack of energy. I guess I gotta go to this. I really need to get better going to the spa. Okay, good. I'm doing the shortcut. Wait, sunflowers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm sneezing tonight. But the answer is definitely coronavirus. Alright, let's send a crunch. Linus, what are you doing? Uh, no? By all means, continue. I already had COVID once. So it's probably fine if I get it. Okay, while I'm relaxing in there, I'm gonna crunch. I'm gonna crunch some more shrimp. Okay, get ready to crunch. Double COVID all the way. He has a good, good suggestion. I feel like I'm being so boring tonight. If you want to, um, if you want to fall asleep to a stream, that tonight's the stream to do it for. Because I'm being so boring. Honestly, the reason for that is I didn't do uppers. I hate that. I hate that I need that to be exciting, to be interesting. Demetrius. That makes me think of that, um... Did you ever see that, like, 90s, like, version of, um, A Midsummer Night's Dream with Kevin Klein as Nick Bottom? I loved that when I was, like, 14. Helena and Demetrius. And Lysander. When I was in middle school, I was in that play as a boy. <laughs> yeah. It's hard in the life of a bug slayer. I should not be killing all these things, should I? It takes too much time. It's actually early enough that for once I can get a good day of mining in. I'm 
Should I try to get a new sword? Yeah. Stop it. Wait, why is it green? What is going on? They're not these things. Ugh. I feel like you need you just need a better sword to be down here. No, stop it. Oh my god. Ugh. green anymore so okay that was that was a fucking battle <laughs> right to crunch I need to crunch to recover from that hmm I need a better sword, absolutely. Thanks, Noah. You bought a fake, fake bag and now you feel dumb? Are you dumb? Um, not necessarily. Like, buying a fake bag is not always the dumbest thing. Some of them, some fakes are pretty good. You're supporting small businesses or whatever you need to tell yourself. Wait, what fuck? Did I die? I died. Guys, I just died. I died before. Oh, Linus saved me. Well, that's fine. He kind of owes me one from when I didn't, like, route him out to the grumpy old man. Uh, thanks, Chris. Movie recommendations? Um, I don't know what you're into. I don't know what to suggest. Um, what? No. What? Okay, why did I lose the thing? Linus, did you take my things? <laughs> or did the slimes take them? God damn it. Wait, now I don't even have a sword. Okay. It's over. Thanks, Steven. Rupert Everett and Michelle Pfeiffer's Obron Titania were super can Yes, they're great. Danny the Foot. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Oh, I didn't recommend any movies. Um, what have I watched lately that was good? I've been watching movies for children. <laughs> I tried to, um, I tried to watch this like cl classic, like pre-anime, but I guess pr or, like proto-anime Japanese cartoon that keeps getting suggested to me on apps called Belladonna of Sadness. But within the first five minutes, there was, like, an extremely upsetting rape scene. <laughs> so I was like, mm, pass. I'm not generally someone who needs a lot of trigger warnings, but I, I feel like if you're going to have a violent rape in the first five minutes, there should be some kind of, like, symbol next to the title of the movie that means that. Because I have to be in a very specific mood to watch that kind of thing. And by a specific mood, I mean never. A 
okay, I just have to sleep. I'm about to, I'm about to die. So instead, then I ended up watching The Rescuers, like the 1977 Disney movie, which I watched both The Rescuers and the sequel. Oh, I'm level seven. Amazing. My hope proficiency is in it. Um, the Rescuers is better than The Rescuers Down Under, in my opinion. I still haven't seen Portrait of a Lady on Fire because also I started that movie and I was like, oh, this is going to be a slow paced, arty thing. And I just wasn't in the mood for that at the time. But I, I usually enjoy lesbian costume dramas, so I'm sure I will like it. I disagree with, um, I disagree with other gay people who want movies about gay people being happy in the modern times. I don't want that. I want sadness and yearning and period costume because that is the most accurate representation of my life. <laughs> but yeah, I should watch it. I do like, but I'm a cheerleader. Obviously, since I keep making the electric shocks reference. I haven't seen Ammonite either. Yeah, I need to watch that too. Thanks, Nad. I don't think you can win Fortune Cookies Gorge. Stop it! Oh my god. Because I'm so bad at using this watering can. I'm not sure that it's actually even more efficient. It is a little bit more efficient. I really should be planting more crops. Well, actually, no, because watering them is such an ordeal. Oh, Bell? I don't. What's that? I haven't even heard about that. I haven't heard about anything. I don't do anything. I don't know what... I don't know what anything is. <laughs> Why am I like this? I did upgrade, that's true. I feel like I should get sprinklers though. But I have no idea what sprinklers do in this game or like if they're difficult or... I just don't know what I'm doing. Thanks Mariposa. Uh, favorite composer? Um, can you be my favorite composer? I don't know, maybe. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I have a few few favorites. I guess the ones I usually go to are... Um, Mozart, Bach, and Chopin, and Schubert. Um... To listen to, I really like to play settee and um, <sighs> thanks, Kai. I I have I have a certain amount of frenemies, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Danny. Thanks, Smitty. I think possession, nineteen eighty one. No, I haven't. Got a lot of movies to watch, huh? I should do less streaming and more movie watching. <laughs> okay, crops watered.
Oh, I've got sunflower seeds. I think it's time to see Haley. We haven't given her anything in a little bit. It's so crunchy. <laughs> so, have I ever heard about the Baha'i faith? I haven't heard. I haven't. Th I haven't thought about that in like ten years. But yes, I have. Wiggling worms. By the time I see it in the chat, it's already like. Go away, birds. <laughs> Go tweet somewhere else. Thanks, Stormy. I think my 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 video game playing in general would make excellent exposure therapy treatment for OCD, <laughs> and I think the entire chat needs it. To be quite honest. Oh, Haley. Yours, Haley. Man, I was so unhinged at the beginning of the stream. I was talking about detransitioning and shit. I feel like I'm getting it together a little bit. Uh, thanks, Emma. No, I haven't seen Desert Hearts. I'm sorry, I feel like this entire stream is just you guys asking me if I've seen movies and, being, and me being like, no, I haven't. <laughs> Haley, no, it's Emily's room. Haley has kind of a princess bedroom. I don't know about this wallpaper. I really don't know about the teddy bear. How old is Haley? This doesn't make me feel creepy. I like the I like the I like her vanity. Found fashions. Photos in the streets of Zuzu City. Thanks, Lunars. Gentleman Jack on HBO Max. True story after a film by Ann Lister, a big old lesbian landowner, one, landowner, wonderful. All right, I'll check it out because I love. There's two things I love. It's lesbianism and landowning. <laughs> Sweet, Haley has a secret door that leads to the backyard. Is that what that was? That'd be useful. <laughs> Haley, do you need to point it out every time? It's getting a little old, don't you think, Gorge? Well, thank you, Jessica. Have I seen Puella Magi Madoka Magica? It's a very Fausty and with a serving of Nietzsche. I have not. It continues the theme of me not having seen things. <laughs> I know, Haley. I know it is. That's what you say every time. <laughs> the lesbian door, of course, yeah. Ooh, pumpkins. Oh. What is Penny like? I could give Penny something. 
Where's my Okay, let me let me check my creepy my creepy love notes. <laughs> and I'll tell you uh how that goes. Oh god. Penny likes uh nothing that I have. Okay. I need more jewels. Thanks, potatoes. I think this is the crunchiest stream I've ever done. Let's go fishing. It's been a while. It's kind of relaxing. Fuck, I missed it. Great. Okay, I think I found my new favorite way to play this game is to eat shrimp while fishing. Because I can just eat continuously and fishing is very boring. So you need to have something else to do while you fish. Oh. oh my god. Soggy newspaper, great. Oh, this is in my pond. Oops. <laughs> I don't know why I have an urge to oh, because the shrimp, that's why. I have an urge to fish. I'm starting to feel exhausted. It's a hard mini game. I guess I should just go to bed, huh? No boring, only zen. I guess that's the philosophy for tonight's stream. Or I could go, you know. Take things up a notch like the chat was doing last time. <laughs> Let's try not to do that. Let's try to be sober for once in my goddamn life, you know? Even if being sober is boring, which it is. But you know, sometimes being boring is not the worst thing. I'm really sober right now. I might not used to streaming this sober, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, I like the rain sounds. It's very relaxing. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, 
Yeah, you should definitely break up your girlfriend and you should marry Haley. <laughs> Thanks, Steven. No, I have not seen Basic Instinct 2. That's crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Amelia. Thank you. Okay, how do I get rid of this trash? Can I sell trash? <laughs> Apparently. I need a new sword. <laughs> it's fishing time. Thanks, Em. I don't remember your wedding, so I guess not. <laughs> Rodrigo. Who? Oh, who's gonna win the worst tweet of all time tournament? Yes. Yeah, so after I tweeted about my my favorite tweets, people start people send that to me. I don't know. I, I've been Ruth Conda might well win. I mean, it's kind of biased since the guy who's doing the tournament. It's obvious that that's what he thought the worst one was. But uh, the Naomi Wolf tweet about um. About Belfast being more magical like it was in the 70s. <laughs> it's doing shockingly well. So I don't know. It could be that. I think I feel like Ruth Conda is it's like a whole genre of bad tweet, right? <laughs> Up there with like Prince and Stephen Hawking meeting in heaven or whatever. Okay, I missed my chance. Let's try, let's try again. It's time for me to continue crunching. Oh. Stop it. This is a bad spot to fish. Thanks, Haley. I love you too. Thanks for staying high in the chat. No. Thanks, Fab. Favorite character from the original L word and least favorite from the reboot? Um, I don't know. Who was my favorite character? I guess Bet. I always liked Bet. Who's my least favorite in the reboot? Well, it's too bad you didn't say least favorite in the original, because like, that would be an easy answer. Fucking Jenny. <laughs> no one in the reboot is too horrible. I've only seen the first season of the reboot. Thanks, Rodrigo. Sorry, I was looking at the chat instead of looking at fishing. <laughs> oh no, I, I, I also I also am fascinated and I adore the Kentucky Derby of bad takes. Well, because I feel like Twitter, all Twitter is is just like enjoying other another person's is enjoying other people's mental health crises. That's all Twitter is. 
How do you love Jenny? What is wrong with you? She's the worst. That's why you never, ever, ever date a writer. They're bad people. <laughs> Sorry. My anti-writer prejudice. Come on. Thanks, Amelia. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. No, stop it. That was some masterful fishing I just did. Create more algae. No. <laughs> okay, I should stop fishing because I'm clearly very bad at it. Thanks, Dead. Which of my thoughts is hyper pop as a genre? Uh, well, I like Sophie. I like other hyper pop less than Sophie, but I still like it. <laughs> uh, no, come on, come on, come on. Guys, how did I catch a fish like the first time I tried? Thanks, Riley. Do I think JK really is an egg? No. Well, actually, the first time I ever watched The L Word, I. Uh, I initially identified with Jenny in like the first season. Because I was kind of going through the same thing of like leaving my long term boyfriend to be gay. <laughs> um, but then Jenny becomes a monster, so. <laughs> I clearly am not made out to be a fisher. I quit. Oh yeah, Dana. God, that- the Dana plot, that gets like unnecessarily dark. I mean, it gets so dark that it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> because they took it way too far, and that to me is funny. Thanks, Rodrigo. Trout soup. Yeah, that would be helpful. Why am I cutting my way through this as if that's necessary? Can I sell you things? How about, should I get the backpack? Yeah. Alright, now maybe you guys will stop bothering me about that. Look how much fucking inventory space I have. Okay, amazing. I'm gonna have no money. Fishing in real life, I haven't <laughs> tried fishing in real life since I was about 10 years old, but my memory of doing it when I was 10 years old is that it sucks and is boring. 
so yeah Katie come on mm, stand aside thanks Reina a recycling machine to convert trash to resources eat cooked food yeah well those are good suggestions <laughs> Okay, I also am not making money. Wait, it's time to harvest. Because I also need to buy more seeds. Because it's, it's not even halfway through fall. That's like halfway today. Ooh, this looks like a big harvest. Fairy rose. These are, I like these. Cranberries. These have the same satisfying sound as blueberries. <laughs> Very satisfying harvest. Pop, pop, pop. Fish. Someone says fishing is more fun as an adult because it's 90% about the drinking. Yeah, that's I would imagine so. That's the problem with chewing it as a child, is that you're not getting ridiculously drunk the whole time. Which I imagine is a lot of the appeal, yeah. Inventory full. Well, I need to hang on to some of this stuff so I can sell it at my fair or whatever. Sleepy. Should I go to sleep? <sighs> it is like two thirty AM. Well, I'm just trying to do a Bedtime stream. Thanks, Emma. Oh, a favorite SpongeBob episode? Yes, that I do. I mean, I have like maybe six that I think are the best. <laughs> I think. Okay, here's my. Let me give you a top five. Procrastination. SB. What is it called? SB29. Like. Whatever the one where he goes, Squidward goes to the future and the past and nowhere. Uh, Squidward the unfriendly ghost. The Krusty Krabs pizza. Bubble stand. Artist unknown. Uh, band geeks might be the best one ever. Band geeks might be the best thing ever made by a human, honestly. <laughs> Um, I love how like every question people have asked me about media so far, I'm like, I don't know, I guess I haven't really watched it and I don't know what I'm talking about. And this one person asked me about Spongebob and I immediately have like a comprehensive scholarly response. SP129, yeah, exactly. I do like Spongebob a lot. But only this, like, the episodes I like, have you, as you noticed, are like the Squidward episodes. I find the other characters to be less compelling. Obviously, because like, I talked about it in the video, I find the dynamic between Squidward and Spongebob to be extremely compelling. For a lot of reasons, but... Uh, I find those episodes are the best. Like, the other characters, like, I don't know. Patrick definitely has his great comedy moments, but it is just not as interesting as a character. Uh, Mr. Krabs is pretty fun, great as a character. Mrs. Puff is pretty great as a character. Sandy never really worked for me. She's like, like, she's likable, but she's not funny, you know? 
I think because she's so competent and, and and like, I don't know. That's not funny. Being good at things isn't funny. What's funny is being a horrible, flawed person. And Sandy, Sandy doesn't have enough flaws to be funny. She's too perfect. Squidward is one of my favorite characters in, in, in television. Yeah. I mean, the episode band gigs actually makes me cry. Like every time I watch it at the end, I literally cry at SpongeBob. I think it's, it's because it's something about like, well, I don't know. As like an artistic failure, <laughs> I relate really hard, I guess to Squidward's like disappointment about life and the fact that he just gets to have his one moment and it's totally undeserved right it's just because Spongebob is like this like a demiurge or creative genius and infinite generosity it just gets me um thanks Stephen oh public holiday in Canada. Happy no work tomorrow, Canada. Okay, uh, what are the crops? What else are we doing today? Should I see if I can get a new sword? I'm gonna see if I can get a new sword. Helix the fountain. It's good to know. It's muddy. Yeah, I feel you, Haley. I wouldn't do that either. So this is why Haley thinks that I'm a dirty farm beast. She doesn't understand that we're actually kind kindred spirits. Now I feel extra notes on a scandal sitting on this fucking bench. <laughs> notes on a scandal. I guess that's a movie I recommend, despite being arguably somewhat homophobic. I certainly reference it a lot. I can't stop to s I can't seem to stop thinking about it. <laughs> well, but I feel, I feel like it's I mostly think about it in the context of me pining over Haley. And being a fem cell in general. <laughs> because that character, what's her name? Barbara? Barbara Covet? She is like the great, the great fem fem cell in cinema history, right? Thanks, Nathan. Well, I I've, I'm successful on YouTube, but um, I don't know. Earlier in life, I wanted to be a musician, and I feel that I kind of failed about that, and that's kind of like a like a very foundational part of my adult personality. Is that like of having failed at that. It's something that I kind of return to a lot. Thanks, Ian. How to get over the failure without becoming a resentful, envious, whiny little nothing has been like kind of the project of the last 12 years for me. Thanks, Kalo. Well, she's hard to get along with at first, but yeah, I feel like Haley might be, I might be getting somewhere. Thanks, Amelia. I have, I don't know what King Gizzard and the Lizard, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, sorry. a rabbit. Uh, 
Ugh, guys, I think I should just go to sleep because I feel like I'm just being tired and depressing. I, should, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't watch this stream. Like Steven, yeah, it's that always a lot. Why am I being such a downer? Oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> it's so unnecessary, Siri. Oh, those, 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 whatever they get, those fairy flowers, what are they called? Those are worth a lot, apparently. <laughs> okay, another day. Yeah, let's do this next time. I. I'm going to take an Ambien. Yeah. I'm going to take an Ambien and then I'm going to... I'm going to get brush my teeth and get in bed and, and watch a Disney movie. And just like dissociate from reality. <laughs> Doesn't that sound good? I love escaping reality. I'm going to go do that now. Alright, sorry for being tired and depressing. I'll do better next time, I promise. Guys, I'm gonna do so good. I'm gonna do so fucking good for you. I'm gonna be so good. You're not even gonna, you're never gonna be able to handle how fucking good I'm gonna be next time I stream. Get ready, cause it's gonna be, it's gonna be so fucking good. <laughs>